y'all. Welcome to Hot Nerd Network, where we dissect and celebrate diverse personalities on TV from everything from the real world to fantasy. I'm Hot Nerd Carm, and I'm here with my co-host, Hot Nerd Shaz. Everyone, Hot Nerd Shaz here, and we're here for a great treat, episode four of Rap Shit. Yes, we're getting like to the thick of the, it's almost halfway through the season, I think, at this point. Um, I think out of, it eight is. Epi- out of eight episodes are already halfway through. So there's a lot happening, but I feel like it's really starting to pick up in terms of, you know, the plot and like really seeing their journey. So it's getting very exciting um, to kick us off. Like, let's just dive deep into the episode recap. What went on? What went on? <laughs> No, literally. First off, shout out Issa and the whole production writing team. I, I would love the little Thanksgiving treat, the episode dropping. I said, perfect thing to watch for my long weekend. Um, but we literally pick off right where we leave off in episode three. Mia stress. She done sent cash, the photo. She keep texting yes. him. Yes. Silence. And literally, and the thing is, I knew it. I knew Cash was too good to be true. I I knew. I was like, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna. Even though Mia slipped up, I just I just knew something was gonna happen. And then I I did like the fact that um, even aside from before we get even get into the boys, I was kind of happy that at the beginning of this episode we saw me and Shauna kind of hash it out because they had, had like a little weird energy, you know, for the first three episodes. Um, just based on, you know, Shauna just being Shauna. <laughs> um, and so I was I was glad that they kind of finally had that moment where Mia was like, girl, like, we not beefing, you just annoying. And it's like, yes, she she needs to hear that. <laughs> someone someone needs to walk her back. <laughs> Bring her back to reality. Someone needs to tell Shauna about herself. Um, <laughs> I love like their reconciliation moment because it was really like Shauna uplifting Mia and reminding her like you a bad B like you don't have to worry like anyone will have you like the pep tops pep tops yes. we give our girls when we're yes. down bad and delusional about a man it's just kind of like what do we need to do to get your spirits up I appreciated that um shout out Oakland they were in my city for this <laughs> yes. week's episode um so we're seeing more momentum build up with their career, right? And or or should we say like the lack of investment from Francois? Because they got yeah. our girls staying in the Hills Have Eyes Hotel. Like, what is going I'm, on? And I'm telling you, it's a scary sight. It's a scary sight. And, and as someone who lives in Oakland, I, I understand where the inspiration of that motel came from. Telegraph? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's very feeding into the starving artist trope. And then you have Raina Ray and a fur Raina coat. Ray still being Raina Ray, just loud and wrong, wrong place, wrong time, wrong person. Just, but again, it just, it is, it's such a reflection of kind of like the music scene today and, you know, how easy it is for certain artists to get put on and how hard it is for others especially when you kind of have a gimmick attached to you um so I feel like it, that's something you know we see literally every day especially now with like you know some artists who like pop off of TikTok just off of like viral sounds or whatever and it's not really giving artist development it's giving industry plan like <laughs> industry plant with some buzzwords we all know right. the classic slang words that they're gonna you regurgitating yes girl da, 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 in the song she's not saying anything said make it rain make it drip 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 i thought we left that in migos in like 2015 but <laughs> um, when we get I, to the let's talk about the the function where they perform like taste makers. okay <laughs> I will say that was very Oakland-ish, like in the sense that we're going to have a function like in a back at, um, outdoor space could be a back alley. Everyone's chilling. I felt like that pop up or like the concert was very true to like what Oakland culture is. But let's get into what happened at said function, Carmen. So we have Rain of Rain. <laughs> so automatically, like Rain of Rain is already out of place. This girl got on 
a hot pink fur in the middle of it's giving summer um in like this crazy fit um obviously she got the camera crew they're recording like people are kind of side eyeing them side eyeing Shauna and Mia when they come in with her like yo like what's good with y'all are y'all shooting a reality show like what's going on like clearly they were just out of place at this function like you said that was so you know chill laid back like very local and here you come with this like I don't even know how to describe her. Just like sad Barbie girl <laughs> who was just <laughs> out of place. Um, and Shauna and Mia, I think all their frustrations from the first couple of episodes and just how the tour has been going starts to bubble over. And they're just like, I'm not about to be played right now. Like, I'm not, about, I can't be embarrassed by this girl anymore in front of these people. So they tell, uh, they finally like, uh, let, um, what's her name? Oh my gosh, it's escaping me. What's Raina? Uh, no, um, they let Duke know that we're not doing this. Yes, yes. They finally let Duke do her job and look out for them and tell Duke, we're not doing this. Like, we're absolutely not doing this. So Duke's like, say less. I've been waiting for y'all to literally, uh, boss up so we can push back on them. Um, so Duke goes to tell Francois, yeah, they're not doing it. Now, I don't know what you had planned, but that's not going. So they um so then they have Raina ends up going on by herself. And Shaz, what happens when this girl goes on by herself? We all know those artists that have to <laughs> have a declaration of them saying, Hi, I appreciate your culture. I'm not taking it. <laughs> She literally said, we're not appropriating, we're celebrating. We all know those lines were very Girl. clear. But then she gets to rapping and her little um, hip lingo, the same 10 words that she's saying in a circle. And the crazy thing is this is the issue with industry plants. You give it five minutes to people, they're vibing with her music. They, they dancing with her. <laughs> right. They're, they're people accepting actually start the bare minimum. The bare minimum. The bare mi but she messed up because she wanted to take shots at Shauna and Mia. Raina Ray, babe, you're not a real rapper. The only thing that's about to drip right now is Beam. And that's exactly <laughs> what our girls had. So what, what I love is like earlier, we're seeing like um, Shauna and Mia coming back to like the friendship they had in season one. So you have Mia hyping up Shauna like, girl, go up there and do a freestyle. Because we know right. our girl loved them freestyles season one. She we know what Instagram happened live. the last time she had a random freestyle. We saw what happened. So that was a, that was another, I thought that was like a full circle moment too, where you saw Mia like, nah, like, go ahead, like, do redeem it. yourself essentially. No, literally. And it was the redemption freestyle. Shauna <laughs> went off. Talking about what Curse say to the industry, shots at Raina Ray. Even Mia said, Yeah, that's shade. Mm. Like they were no. <laughs> Mia had the fire ad libs. Mia had the fire ad libs. <laughs> Even got her little got her little shots in there too. Which I think is nice too because <laughs> obviously we know like Shauna is kind of the main person behind the bars. You know, she really is like really about this like rap game and like just the artistry behind it and but it's also nice seeing Mia kind of come into her own as well and like be more confident in just like her artistry too and not just she don't have to just be the hype person but she's a great hype person her ad libs were fire yeah. like and the two of them together obviously the crowd was really feeling them they got to get their own name out there you know so people actually like recognize them they were getting all their props and then who pulls up lord ak okay. another full circle moment after what we went through in the previous episodes when they were trying to meet him in the first place so lord ak pulls up and he's like giving them their props he's like you know y'all are lit basically like let's hit the stoop and um of course like Fran here come Francois. He's trying to insert himself, Raina, super mad. You're sick. You're mad because Lord AK is not checking for y'all. And 
Sean and Mia hit the dash on him so they can go to the stew with Lord AK. And I was like, yes, thank you. Please, let's leave them in the dust. Please. It's giving, I gotta put me first, Lucius. And that's exactly I gotta, what I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. first. Um, and it's so glad because it's like, finally, this is leading up. Francois has been talking all, he's giving them crumbs, bare, mm-hmm. really. And they're just trying to make it work. And now they can finally make a connection. We get the Mia and Courtney play, right? See, every episode, my girl, one thing Mia's going to do is she's going to have a fun about black man my, sitting next to her. One thing about my girl Mia, she going to have a roster. She going to have them on her line. And I love that for her. Literally, it, it's inspiring. just rep- representation for the city girls. It's inspiring, honestly. It is. Like Let the studio. The roster's building. <laughs> the roster, lose one. Two more coming. Like my sis never stays down. Out. So no, literally, we get her. In, uh, we get her and Shauna in the studio. Um, mind you, she had already like Mia had already. You know, she's off the of cash because he didn't know how to act. Per usual, men don't know how to handle a baby. Per usual, Period. so she already she already off cash then. When they were at the function, you know, she's like running back to, you know, her comfort zone, um, Team Lamont. You know, we stay in Lamont over here. She ends up basically inviting this man to L.A. low key. And then now <laughs> fast forward to where we're in the studio with Courtney, who is also who she put on to work with Lamont. And Courtney's checking for her. And I'm like, sister. As much as I respect it, we're getting our wires a little crossed here. <laughs> we we got to separate our hoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, she's it's, it's getting it's, real close for it's, comfort. It's getting a little messy. You got it's getting a little messy. But I, like I love it's it. Given, I secretly it's love given, it. But like it's like we got to help our men. We got to help each other out. It's we got to network across. So me and connecting Lamont with, with Courtney. But she messed up by inviting <laughs> Lamont to LA. We all Babe. been there, ladies. You've been in a function. It'd be three plus, two plus. <laughs> you don't want that life for yourself. You don't. She gonna get caught up. But, but we're Courtney was let checking her for her. Her and Courtney he was, have a vibe. They have a vibe. They talk. Her and Courtney they have talked a vibe. all night. They, they talk- talked all night, and so did Sean and Lord AK, and so did Sean and Lord AK. They was, and, you know. When that What's man that? Gat tried to disrespect, when that guy Gat tried to disrespect Shauna, Lord AK stepped in. Come on. I was, Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Defending and you know what? Girl. Let, let that be a lesson. Men, in 2023 and onward, for 2024, we're coming up on the new year. Please clock your corny friends. Please do us all a favor. Do us all a favor. Please clock your corny friends. Like, Oh my God, he back up. Like, I was so happy when Lord AK told him to basically get out. Like, him and Shauna were clearly having a moment. Again, he's like, on not even outside of just like, obviously they had a romantic vibe, but even just on the music tip, like, she was, you know, just talking about like, like this. all the, like, the musicality, everything, lyrics, everything. And here you have. I heard, you know that TikTok sound where it's like, and then I hear this is like excruciating <laughs> noise in the back, and it's Gat over here, this annoying little fly, and he's still trying to bring up stuff from the whole like after party situation. And Lord AK rightfully so told him to get the on. Like, please, you're ruining the vibe and you're corny right now. And we just we just need more of that. We need we need more of that from our men. I'm just saying. Yeah, we need men telling other men that you probably got something better to do instead of bothering <laughs> me and this girl right now. Come on, Build I know you got something. something. Come on, something, something. <laughs> um, um, but but then Shana... I love that moment. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, sorry. I was gonna say I love the moment between Lord AK and Shauna. It it just seemed very genuine. It's kind of like when you're meeting a person for the first time and like you're you're talking about things you care about and like it's like establishing that rapport in a way. Yeah. But I was like, 
y'all the same person musically. This is what this episode's leading up to. Right. And I think too, again, for just showing their growth, like it 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 it's it's showing that it's paying off for them being on this tour. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, like they couldn't even they didn't even have their name on the outside of the venue in terms of performance. Like they didn't even get their own solo shot. And now they're actually getting like one-on-one FaceTime with Lord AK, who is really who they're there for anyway. Um, So I just love how like us coming into mid season, like we're starting to see, you know, the cards kind of fall into place, starting to really see like their hard work kind of come to fruition in certain ways. So it's like very exciting for what the rest of the tour is going to give. Um, so, yeah, I think what happened after that? And that's really well, um, they meet like it kind of ends like Shauna leaves Lord AK because also the way Gat like he really tried to embarrass her, right? And, like, to protect herself, Arsis had yep. to remove herself from the situation. She's like, yep. I mean, you're not going to think I'm some groupie that I've been trying to hang- meet you up for the past week. I'm right. a professional woman. Talk about Period. boundaries. So our girl gets up. You know, Mia, she hungry. Her and Courtney gets her food. They talking all night. It, and I love it. It's yes. the next day. It's the recap. It's like, well, what yes. happened? There's what y'all nothing do? better Ooh. than the morning after recap. Like, that is just a sacred time. You get so much tea. You have so many laughs, so many jokes. So much. It's just amazing. Like, shout out to the next morning after recap. Shout it's just a them. sacred time and, in girl history. And doing it over breakfast. And how can we forget our favorite girl, Duke? Duke been oh hustling. She went with Guap Dad. Duke. They, they had him running through Oakland. Sis is trying to make some money. They not doing anything. They I know they're probably high. I don't know what's going on. They jumping around. They want all this fried fish. And what our sis has to do? She had a hustle. She got to bimp and you had to break into the windows. <laughs> I know that life in Oakland. Bop, and she, bop, bop. <laughs> but she's their manager and she's really taking it on fully. Like, what do I need to do? Like, how do we, how can we survive? And she did what she needed to do. They're eating, heading up to the next stop, which I think is LA. And mm-hmm. I guess that's the perfect segue into what do we think is about to happen? I know even even before we get to the segue, I just want to say I think you talked about it last episode too, like just how much we're each seeing like even though obviously, you know, Duke is their manager, but she also, you know, she has her own dreams and you know, that's why she's hustling to so she doesn't have to stay in like the same pimp career that her uncle brought her into. Um so as much as like I think as much as we see them like building a bond and she's, you know, trying to put on for Shauna and Mia because she really does care. It's also like, I got to eat too. Like we need this money and we need it now. So sis got to do it what she had to do. I really hope that doesn't come back to bite her. We we got a lot of pending criminal charges. Okay. One thing no, about this season, we, we got a lot <laughs> going on. The feds could Someone be around any corner. <laughs> the feds could be around <laughs> any corner. Um, so it'll be, it'll be it down. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see what happens in episode five. To your point, um, I think one of my predictions. I think they're gonna have like a really good show in LA. Like I don't know if like Lord AK is gonna like bring bring them out on his set now that he's like made that connection with Shauna, or. Um, I, I feel like I feel like something big is gonna happen after they pop at the little like Oakland show, and I think in LA some something good is gonna happen for them performance wise, where they're gonna be able to like really put on um, for like the music side of things. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be their like um, defining moment in their career, and also it's like the pendulum episode. So we're like already halfway through the season, like. Yeah. So in terms like just thinking about the storyline, something's going to have to give. I also feel like we'll see more trust like deepen within Shauna and Mia's relationship, but their trust in Duke to actually lead them as their manager. I hope um, Raina Ray gets canceled. I don't know what episode that's about to be on. Please, please, let's get to that episode. Please, let's get to that Um, episode quickly. But our girl Mia is about to get caught up. I mean, I don't know. I know. I I feel it coming. Boomerang. 
Boomerang, because she's going to be in his city. She got Courtney. I'm moving around. That's how much I'm freaking out. I'm so anxious. Like, what's about to happen? Lamont is coming. It is going to get real messy. It's gonna, it is. And maybe even sticky. I don't even know. I don't even know, man. It's going to get crazy. I fear for my sister. I do. I, I feel it coming. Like, yeah, it's some, something's, something's going to happen. Um, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully we end up with at, at least a one man on the roster. I, I hope it doesn't blow up the entire roster. I, I hope the roster, the career, the babysitting gig, like it's, it's, there's so right, we, many we, factors. We got a lot tied up. We got a lot tied up in this. We truly do. Yeah. Melissa cannot stay with me as mom. Like we cannot have that long term, ladies. <laughs> I think um, too, speaking of men, I think because we didn't get a lot of, Maurice and Stanley um, footage in the last episode, so I feel like that's going to come back up. If not next episode, definitely in episode six, because that is just looming. He already has the recorded conversation with Shauna, so at some point, that's, that's going to come up again. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see if Maurice pops back up in the storyline in the next episode. Yeah, um, we're going to see because the way that rap shit is in terms of how it puts you on anxiety induced roller coaster. If that man and the police show up while they're performing, I may have to throw my TV out the window. I'm not. Well, we're just going to pause. Does not happen. <laughs> we're not going to speak that into existence because that will oh. actually have my cringe meter like this show already has a cringe meter that it really pushes the limits for me, especially when it comes to Shauna, but that will take it over the edge. That will truly take it over the edge. I expect nothing less from an Issa Rae production, but yeah, we're, let's see, because I'm exactly with you, Carmen. I'm just like, do I need to have my weighted blanket with me to come for me during this next episode? Like someone please tell me. But yeah, excited to see what happens. Our girls are on the come up. I feel like they can only go up from here, minus the pending federal charges that are looming <laughs> over Minus Shana's the head. feds. Like, yeah, like, uh, don't hit my girl with a Rico. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's wrapped it. Episode four, we have episode five coming out this week. Um, Thank you guys for joining us as we broke down yes. this week's episode and season. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to join the conversation. We're all hot nerds, so make sure to <laughs> keep up with the Hot Nerd Network. Bye. Bye.